Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one of tutorial, I'm trying to see how to convert a JSON file to a format that we can read with SQL. So in the previous tutorial, we we're trying to build an API from Flux, right? Using a normal JSON file. So we want to convert that particular JSON file to a format that we can read with SQL. So let's see what we're doing. So the basic web flow is that we have our JSON data, then you convert it to Panda data frame, then to a format that you can read with SQL. So let's see how to do that. So I'm just going to import pandas as pd then we import a json right to help us read our file perfect that's the first thing then the next thing i'm going to open our json file so we're going to open our json file it's going to be with open now passing the particular data that we are working with which is going to be our boost.json file as f so something very basic as f can be any name then i'm going to inside a variable called data then i'll use the json to load what you have opened so we are opening this particular boost json then we are loading it with json.load and storing inside this variable called data so if i go back to data you can see it in a very nice format right in a list with our json data perfect so the next thing is we are going to convert this our list to pandas data frame so let's see how to do that so i'm just going to create a data frame now go with pd dot data frame and I pass in my data. Perfect. So now for me I can check for what I've done so far. Then you can see that our data has been load loaded in a data frame. Very very nice. So I can actually check for the columns df dot columns, which is quite interesting and very simple. Perfect. So the next option now is that we're going to be converting our data frame to a format that you can read with, with SQL. So first of all, let's create our SQL back in connection right so in that case it's going to be import SQLite 3 there are two methods you can use it you can use SQLite 3 or can use SQL Alchemy so import SQL light then we're going to create our connection which is going to be SQL light 3 dot connect now paste in my books dot db it can be db it can be SQL light 3 all the various formats it supports so let's go as db then i'm going to create a case con dot case which although we'll not be using it <laughs> anyway <laughs> perfect so if i come back to my directory which is here you can see that i have it here right but it is zero it is empty right there is nothing there if i check it is zero so we have created a connection we have created this particular file we have to dump our data into it so how do we do that so that is where we're using the next option of going with df.2 sql then i'll pass in the name of the table not the name of the file but the name of the table so let's go to the books table then i'm going to pass in my connection okay so now it's going to dump everything to my database so if i come back here and i check it here now it is better right it's bigger now if i open this particular place inside the terminal can actually see what you have done so far so we have it here then i can just go with sql light 3 i'll open my books so i can just go into the table it's going to list the tab books there so this books is referring to the table that we created here very interesting then from here i can actually see the scheme so schema books then it's going to list it for me right so this is going to list the entire columns there with all their data types which i can copy this one and use to create a model very simple in case i want to create a model i just copy this one is to create a model very simple i can also select everything there so select all from my books table perfect so we have been able to commit our json file into a format that we can read with sql that is the first method now let's see the second method so, so the second method is going to be the same thing but instead of using SQLite, you are using SQL Alchemy. So it's going to be from SQL Alchemy import create engine. This is the next method. And we're going to create an engine which is going to be the connection to that particular database that you want to do in memory, right? So it's going to be create engine. And I'm going to pass in 
so here I can pass in SQLite, I can pass in post SQL, I can pass in my SQL, any of them is going to work. But let's use SQLite 3. So this then goes with 4, it must be 3 or 4, right? Then we're going to save that books 2.db. So it's going to create an engine in memory. So if I come back here, we can't see anything, right? Because it's already it's in memory. Now, the moment I, if I want to see it, I just have to use df.2 SQL and I'll pass in my data. I'll pass in the table name, which is going to be books again. Then I'll pass in my engine, right, referring to this particular engine. Perfect. So if I save it, perfect. So it has created this. So if I come back here, you can see that now we have our books to there. So that is how to convert your JSON format, JSON file to a format that you can read with SQL. Right? So thank you for watching. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section below and check the link below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning in Python. And see you in the next session. Stay blessed.